So I need the rear bumper. This I think will pull. I can't go very far if I don't have any oil pressure. Oh my gosh, is this the dumbest thing I've ever done? Shoot, I know what's happening to the oil. All right, well, she's on her way. You wanna see? Can you see anything way back in there? What do you think? Were you right? Were you wrong? Or can you even see it yet? <laughs> oh, I don't know about this. I didn't really have the car marked or the vehicle marked and I just logged on to the auction. I saw it like three cars ahead of it and I just bid. So we'll see what you get when you are completely unprepared. I don't know. I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Here we go. Woo! Thank you. Well, here she is, folks. The first thing I notice, we need some air in the tire. Holy moly, do we need some air in the tire. But, what do you think? This is a 2005, so it's the last model year for this particular <laughs> model. And it looks good. I like the step, the side step right there. That is really, really cool. As far as damage from what I've seen, I just had it right here and here. So I need the rear bumper. This I think will pull. And I need this little piece right here that goes on the tailgate. And please be all, please be all, please be all. That is all the damage, but I do have some rust right here, okay? Oh my goodness. Let's just kind of see what's going on here. The inside looks pretty good. I'm loving this. I really, really am. That's cool. But we have power. So let's pull her out. We'll put some air in her. And then we'll see if we can get her home. Because that's, that's the goal of the video. We'll kind of do a walk around once we get home. That's jacked up. Well, okay. That's hopefully an easy fix. <laughs> it is, trust me. It is easy. Okay. Now, where are the keys? Here we go. We have a key. Ugh. Let's see if she's gonna start. Come on, little girl. What do you sound like? 171,000 miles. I'm noticing a bit of a hum. What is that? We do have a tow hitch, which is amazing. Okay. Well, she doesn't sound great. Let's just kind of see what's going to happen. We got the check engine light on. Dead gummit. Okay. We're just going to go slow. Here we go. So far, so good. We do need some uh, power steering fluid. <laughs> Great. Oh, oil. Shoot. Dead gum I hope it's not an oil leak. Okay, let's just kind of see why it sounds so terrible. Dead gum I don't want to tow it home. I really don't. Of course, that's not going to stay up. All right, let's just kind of see what's happening here. There's a little bit of oil in there. All right, so what I need to do is put in some oil and I think I have an air pump as well. So let's just kind of see what's gonna happen. Let's fix those problems first. One tire fixed, one quart of oil, one broken bumper piece that I think I can fix. And I think we're good to go. One Coca-Cola in my Eskimo Joe's mug and one road trip home. We're gonna see if this baby's gonna make it. I don't know. I have some tools. I have um, 
Every one of these is broken. I say that all the time. Every time I get in this, this series, the W163, here we go. It just doesn't sound very good to me. It sounds rather loud. I got the check engine light still. The oil is okay. Hopefully that will clear up. Um, I just don't know. So let's go home. Let's see if we're gonna make it. Okay, do we have oil on the pavement? No, there is no oil there. We're going so far so good. We did put in about a gallon of gas. Oh, that sounds terrible. Okay. Are we gonna shift gears? We did. We shifted gears. And we did it again. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> what are the odds we make it home? What do you think? I don't know. We got a bunch of Radley stuff. There's some loose things in the back, I think. I haven't even opened the tailgate. I'm just counting on the reputation and we have the oil light again. Am I not leak? Am I just, oh my gosh, is this the dumbest thing I've ever done? Oh, the oil light. The dreaded oil light. Okay, we're gonna have to, we'll get up here and then we'll stop and see what's going on with oil because I can't go very far if I don't have any oil pressure. I put a whole quart of oil in there. Maybe that just wasn't enough. Let's just kind of get over into here and see what's going on real quick. Okay. Hold on, we'll be right back. Well, we've decided to continue on. This is against my better judgment because I lost my wallet and I don't have my AAA card and I don't have my driver's license and I don't have credit cards and I don't have all that good stuff that we need. So we're gonna stop and buy uh, some oil from somewhere and then we're just gonna pour everything that we got in there and hopefully she makes it home. Good news, air conditioner works great. Bad news, steering is terribly wonky. And I still have that weird chunk. When I turn it off, the whole car goes tunk like that. So I don't, I just don't know what's gonna happen. This is gonna be, <laughs> if we make it home, and there's the oil light again, it's gonna be epic epic an epic failure or an epic success all right well we have oil thanks to a local harbor freight so yay let's get this in and we're just going to see what happens because this this is going to be messy but it's not coming out anywhere so that's the great mystery we're just going to have to figure out what the heck is going on and how i can hold this thing open wait a second hold i have an idea i got an idea I think we have a piece of the bumper right there. Oh, this doesn't like to open either. Here. I think this will work. Ugh. We're gonna hold this <laughs> against here and see 
if it's going to work. Please work. I don't think that's going to work. Here we go. That will work. Okay, let's, let's do this. Okay, we're just going to put oil in here and see what happens. Oh no. Oh no. Shoot, I know what's happening to the oil. And it's bad. Dad gum it. I'll show you here in a sec. Doggone it, this is terrible. It's really bad. What do you think it is? There's your clue right there. So we're gonna have to, if we even make it home. So there you go. What does that indicate? Well, that means a head gasket. That's where my oil is going. And that's why I'm getting more and more in my fluid reservoir. Right there. So the engine should be quieter now. And there's good and bad. Okay. The good is I think I only have a couple of stops, maybe two lights between here and home. I got a couple of stop signs. So we're just gonna try to see how far we can make it and see how long this oil light stays off. But I don't need anything to stop in front of me. <laughs> like you? Come on! It's your turn. <sighs> uh, thank you. Let's see if I can get in front of this truck. Still no oil light. If this is a head gasket, this is a whole game changer for the car. This will be the first one I've ever encountered on a W163. It really will because these are like bulletproof. Once we get on the highway, it's all highway until we're about a mile and a half from home. So let's just see. Okay, so that's a third gear that we got in there. And this steering is terrible. Here comes a highway patrolman. Okay, well. Uh, see how weird the steering is? Yeah, we're way cocked. I don't know if the front end of the car, I didn't even check the uh, lug nuts on the wheels. That's That would involve work and I just haven't done that yet. So, where's your sidekick when you need him, you know? Absolutely, where's Randy with the tow truck and the trailer? I may need him later on. <laughs> I don't know. So far, so good. Temperature has been staying right there. I mean, it's. 67 degrees outside and I'm on the highway, so that's good. Bad is, look at this. Well, I, I don't even want to do too much because it, it starts to sway a little bit, but this steering wheel is way off and the steering is very, very loose. I don't even know if the radio works. That's a common problem on these. Let's just kind of see. Oh, well, I got to enter my security code. I don't have that with me. Hopefully those are the booklets right there. So we'll have to uh, figure that out. Maybe it will work. I don't know, that doesn't mean anything. Usually the sound, you put in the security code and it opens up the radio, but then the common problem is the sound doesn't work. And you gotta send the radio off or you replace it with an aftermarket. And I am just all over the road with this steering. This is, this is a, oh, okay. So we got a mile to go to uh, one option. Uh, to get off of the highway here. I think I'm going to go that way because there are fewer stoplights. 
the car sounds fine. I mean, there's there's no huge rattles. Okay, here it is again. This this steering is gonna. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? I have a little bit of a peak hole through what used to be the sticker right there. So we'll get in this far lane and then we will take the exit and hopefully I'll hit this light when it is green. It's a left turn light. Right turn signal works. That's good. All right. Well, maybe it's not a head gasket. Maybe just because the engine hasn't run for a long, long time and the oil evaporated. <laughs> Is that even possible? I don't think so. I'm hoping it's not a head gasket. Maybe it was just a little bit of moisture. I don't know. I just, I just haven't heard of head gaskets on these engines. I really haven't. So we're taking the exit. This is 51st and Harvard. And hopefully I can turn right on red right here and there's nobody in front of me. So that's a good thing. Oh, the brakes, the brakes are working. Okay, so that's good too. Oh, the steering. Oh. Okay. So I got a green arrow. We're just gonna go for it. Because if I can make this light, okay, that's good. My next one is down here. Temperature is still good. Okay, we're gonna go slow because the other lane is going right now. Well, why we're at the stoplight? Oh, it's green. Okay, so that's good. Um, what did I pay for the car? I won the auction for $750. I did, I won it for $750, but there are all kinds of fees. Just to buy it, it cost you 260. Then there's a lot fee, the internet fee, and they charged me a fee because I used my credit card. It's called the cash forfeiture. Fee, I think, or something like that. So that was an extra $51 because I used a, a credit card. Um, total all in is $1,201. So is this a good purchase for $1,200? I don't know. I got that S55, uh, the uh, ML55 AMG for $1,600, which was the deal of a century. Um, and this is much a much lesser car, and if the engine is kaput, then it's uh, it's really going to suck. So I don't know. I just it was an impulse purchase, and that's what has me worried about the whole thing. Uh, all right, we're getting closer and closer to home. We can make this light. We're done with the lights. All I have is a right turn, a left turn, and then turning into my driveway, which would be fantastic. So hopefully that will go well. We made another green light. Still no oil right there. All of the gauges look good. I'm up a little bit in the temperature department. Um, but the gas is fine. I was cruising at 60 on the highway. That's good. I just, oh. Uh, what do you think about the wood? I'm trying to take all of my attention away from the possible engine problems. Uh, I like the darker wood. It's a little fancier wood in the later. This is the facelift W163. I think it was 2001 they changed it, maybe 2000, and made it a little nicer on the inside. And this is, it's a nice place to be, but it's a small SUV, like I was saying about the uh, ML55. It's not big. And on my electric bikes, I could not put an electric bike in the back of the ML55. I had to use the Escalade to deliver that to a very fancy house here in Tulsa and it was raining and then all the locks went kaput on the Escalade and I couldn't open the tailgate. <laughs> I couldn't get the bike out of the SUV. It was embarrassing, it was really bad. And this is the old money part of Tulsa. I pull up to this beautiful house in a junker like that, half a million mile Escalade and I can't even open the tailgate to get out the electric bike. Okay, we're going up the hill and I'm going to call this a win. I mean, we made it home. We did. I think she wants to live. I think she's just had a tough life, you know? So, wow. Congratulations, everybody. We made it all the way home in a very, very iffy. <laughs>
Mercedes, but we did it. Look at that. Let's see what the engine sounds like. Still got a really bad tick. Oh, that didn't sound good. Does this let go? Okay. Yeah, is there a cup holder? Yes. Oh, here's a service. This was serviced in April of 23. 168,000 miles. Um, Kenosha Street. Where is that? Is that Bartlesville? Not Bartlesville. Broken Arrow? I don't know. I'll have to Google that and see. So, next service due 168. So, we're a little bit over on the mileage, but I just put five quarts of oil in it. So, that's, <laughs> that's a good thing. But we made it home! <laughs> yes! $1,200 lighter plus 40 bucks for oil. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. We'll just have to see what the rest of her looks like, okay?